Ah, uh, with stories like this, I always wonder, how does the human brain cause someone to go in this direction? RD News Now reports that a German artist is creating beautiful paintings using a surprising choice of paint. Cow manure. Artist Werner Hartel first happened upon the idea of using cow dung as a medium while working as a farmhand. After collecting and bringing home a container of liquid cow dung, he experimented with using it on various surfaces. Soon, he started crafting incredible artwork, portraying some of Germany's most beautiful pastoral and agricultural landscapes. He collects the droppings himself by standing behind the cows, ready with a canister, as soon as they lift their tails to poop. And he says he uses water to dilute the dung and achieve different shades. Werner claims that while the paint smells when it's wet, it doesn't smell at all once it's completely dry. I think I will uh, just take his word for it. I definitely don't want to get up close and personal to uh, the turtle Lisa. No. Is this story real or a publicity stunt? You be the judge. The South China Morning Post reports that a Chinese company has won online praise for requiring job applicants to wear full face masks to avoid choosing candidates based on their appearance. A viral video shows the weird interview scene where several interviewees, all wearing full face masks, sit quietly in an office listening to the interviewer, who is also masked. One of the job candidates claims that the company asked them to take a blank mask and draw freely on it. The company also allegedly arranged for a member of staff to cut and distribute sugarcane to job applicants. The company, Chengdu Ant Logistics, claimed that it values the individual abilities of people over their appearance and that they aimed to reduce the stress felt by interviewees. Although they're getting praise online for helping eliminate employment discrimination, some question if this was simply a publicity stunt. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comments. All right, this one can be looked at two different ways. We'll let you be the judge. The South China Morning Post reports that a Chinese woman was saved after being found unconscious on, get this, Mount Everest. You know, Mount Everest, the tallest mountain in the world. But now she refuses to pay a Sherpa guide a rescue fee for helping save her life. The 50-year-old woman named Liu was found near the peak of Everest by another Chinese mountain climber, who decided to abandon his dream of reaching the summit in order to save Liu. Fan encountered another man named Qi, who agreed to help with the rescue. But Qi's Sherpa hmm. guide was reluctant to help, and so Xi offered a $10,000 reward, after which the guide agreed. Working together, they carried Liu down the mountain to a base camp, where she received treatment and recovered. However, when told of the rescue fee, Liu refused to pay the full amount, offering $4,000 instead. This upset Fan, who told her to keep the money, with he and she paying the guide themselves. Since Liu didn't agree to the fee, is she in the right? Or is she just ungrateful? I mean, if you have the money to climb Mount Everest, you should have the funds to pay for your rescue, right? Whatever happened to a good old excuse like diarrhea to get off work? The Fresno Bee reports that a convenience store clerk in Oklahoma asked a friend to organize a robbery of the store so that he could go home early. The Tulsa Police Department said on Facebook that the clerk, named Isaiah Jones, reported that someone handed him a demand note that read, Give me all your money or I will shoot you. And so Jones gave him cash. Investigators arrested the robbery suspect, named Steve Jones, who revealed that he robbed the store after one of his friends received a request from Isaiah. Incidentally, Isaiah and Steven are not actually related. The next day, police arrested the woman accused of setting up the robbery, named Aaliyah Locke, and she had text messages from Isaiah Jones proving he asked someone to rob the store. Authorities said Isaiah paid the woman after the robbery took place. All three were arrested and faced various charges. 
If you want to see all our videos about real news stories that are funny, stupid, or weird, click the subscribe button below. I mean, hey, my cat's gotta eat.